Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new Stardust tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create candle smoke and smoke trails using Stardust in Adobe After Effects. So create your composition and let's get started. So after create your composition, I have here in my comp Stardust already applied to this smoke layer here. So jump to emitter and change type to sphere. And let's give size X, Y, and Z 10. And so we're going to jump to particle node and change the shape to cloud. And then on cloud properties, let's give circles 100 and density. 150 so we're going to get something like this and so on size here let's make it a little bit bigger and size random around 50 so maybe this is too big so it's something like that and on opacity we're going to put that around 30 and opacity random going to change that as well and then we're going to overlay on particle node and then let's choose a preset here so maybe this one and so going to get something like this we want this to start like that and on opacity we want to fade out opacity there and here we have particles particle feather we're going to put that to 100 so we're getting something like this and let's turn on shadow here and let's put distance around 10 maybe size a little bit bigger I'm not sure if you can see that so maybe blur that a little bit this. Okay, so now we're going to emitter and we're going to randomize the speed. So we have something like that. And to make the trail, we're going to add expression here to origin X and Y. So hold Alt and click on stopwatch and then remove this expression and then type wiggle up in parentheses one comma six hundred and close parentheses so we're going to get something like this but we're going to back to emitter and let's give on 500 to particles per second so we have something like that it's pretty uh pretty intense so we're going to back here on particles let's change the life random a little bit and here we're going to change the color from solid to color over life and this gradient we are going just to inverse this gradient here so we're going to get something like this so maybe this white i'm going to put it to gray here and we're going back here to these um, this uh, graph. So it actually should be something like that. So maybe we're going to start this smaller and then start getting bigger for the trail. So let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you see, we are getting something like this. We can tweak this more. So we're going back to emitter and we're going to add some inertia here. So maybe something around 10 and we're going to speed over life. And then we're going to put this something like this. So we have less speed. I'm not sure if you can see what happened here. So. So as you see, we'll change this. So basically the speed of the trail decrease. And let's change a little bit of this opacity. So maybe less opacity here. 
So maybe there's some gaps there, and that's basically uh, just on particle size here. We can just tweak here this graph. So we're going to get different results. And as you see, we are filling those gaps. Let's preview this and see how it looks like. So as you see, it looked pretty cool. And so another tip here, let's uh, look at this from the top. And if you see, actually we need to create camera. And if you look at this, you will see the trail movement is only on X and Y. And if you want to add that on C, so we're going to just copy this expression and do the same thing here for the Z. Let's paste it there, maybe 400. And so now we're going to see that the trail is going on all axes. And so if we want to create a smoke app, so let's duplicate this. Let's choose smoke two. And then we're going to reset here these emitter so we have just the basic here of the smoke look so on emitter let's choose sphere again and give it 10 and let's change direction to directional and then we're going to put minus 90 on orient z so it's facing up like this and so we're going to move this origin of the emitter right there and let's speed these actually speed these more and randomize the speed so we're going to have something like this very quickly So maybe this is too fast, so maybe I'll lower the speed. And we can add turbulence node to this. Connect here, so we can add some turbulence here. So let's turn on these helpers. And let's change this to sphere. Let's make sphere a little bit bigger. Let's put these to facts things just above the base and we're going to put on position offset maybe 200 and maybe scale this up as you see it adds some variations there and we can add a field node as well and on fill node, we're going to choose twist. And on twist, we're going to put the twist amount maybe around 100. And you can see what's happening there. So it's on infinite. So it's affecting there all the smoke. And we want that to be on Y axis. So here, as you see, we get a very nice result of smoke and if you think smoke is very fast we can actually change speed on emit node and we have other parameters to change on turbulence and fill node but we're going to add a first node here so we can add some wind effects so we're going to add wind on y axis and also on z so we have some variations on the locking and we have wind on X if we want to but we're going to zero out this for now and there is gravity which we're going to add a little bit and there's spin which give us a different look here which we don't want to as well in this example so let's preview and see how this looks like so now we're going to look how to create a candle smoke effects using stardust so here let's duplicate this again let's rename this to candle smoke let's turn off visibility of this 
and let's change this to candle smoke and let's delete these notes and reset here these notes and here I have these candle here for reference that we're going to use to create the candle smoke so on emitter let's zero out the speed and then we have only one particle here let's position it right here and then we're going to add a first node and so on this first node we're going to put the wind y to minus 200 and so we're going to get something like this so the, the particles just animating this way and so let's put these things right here just need this part to work on and let's make this particle a little bit smaller on the size so let's put there like two or maybe four right now and we're going to add a turbulence node to this and so here going to make uh, change the position offset to 500 and noise scale to 1000 so we're going to get something like this nothing animated uh, let's turn on the helper so we can see what's going on and we're going to change the turbulence effect to sphere so we have this small sphere so this is the only affected part we're going to make this sphere a little bit bigger so we're going to give it 600 on size and we're going to move it a little bit so it's less here it's only on center and around that uh, it's more affected by the turbulence and so now nothing animated so to animate this we're going to this fractal speed on turbulence node and let's give it 10 and let's preview this so here we have this animating this way and so what we're going to do is we're going to add this fractal offset we're going to add a keyframe here let's make this minus 10 to let's reveal this maybe I wanted to start before to zero so it's like these uh, turbulence or noise is moving with the wind so we're going to have something just like this so maybe we can add more wind to this so it's just a little bit more longer here and maybe we can add wind on X so maybe 30 there so we have something like that and you can see we have some gaps here and we can fix this on particle per second let's give there 500 and so we have this nice uh, nice uh, string here and so now we are going to do something uh, very cool so on the particle going to over life and then change the size on this graph I want to make it like this and doing the same on opacity so something like that is fine and on opacity on particles we're going to put three on it so I'm not sure if you can see it so let's put four so we have something like this for now and now we're going to add a replica node and then connect this replica to this particle here and on the replica we're going to leave this replica type to offset and put one hand on replicates and here on offset y we're going to put there minus one and we're going to have something like this let's turn off these helpers so we can see well so we're going to have something like this let's preview this 
So as you see, we have these effects right here. So now on Replica, we have here these along path properties and we're going to affect here the size of the replicates like we did for the original one. So we're going to have these nice fading effects and for the opacity as well. So we want to have something like this. So as you see, it's dependent on how we're affecting the opacity here, the locate change. So maybe for now it looked pretty cool. So we're going to add another turbulence node and this time it's going to be connected to this replica because we want to affect only the replicates. So the same thing, we're going to give the position 500 and of course we're going to change the turbulence effect only on a sphere type. So we're going to change that to sphere and we're going to give this sphere 600 and move it a little bit on top. And here you would see the look, it's look very complicated and it's look pretty cool, but it's not what we want to. So we're going to change the size here or scale of noise to 600. And we're going to get something like this and we're going to do some adjustment on turbulence field. So we get a different results. And we can go to force node and adjust wind on X axis. And as you see, we're getting a different look. So maybe just keep trying until you get the look you're looking for. So let's preview and see how this looks like. It doesn't look bad, but here we can see, obviously we need to do some uh, tweaks here. So maybe we can add gravity here and also we can affect the wind here over life. And maybe this is too much, just minus five and turbulence as well so we can change the turbulence here so maybe this is it to be a little bit something like this and this turbulence here or maybe maybe something like that so you get the idea here and on particle, we can just change the look as well by like changing the opacity. If we want that to be dense, we're going to put three on there. And if we have any problem like uh, here, like gaps, we can add more replicates. But more replicates you add in density, more time it's going to need to render this so as you see we get this very dense looking and so we can just go back to replica node and adjust opacity so we can get a solid effect there and hope you get the idea and hope this tutorial was very useful for you guys and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to support me and thank you for watching